I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely ready for this weekend. Hey guys, James Lee here again with another mukbang. If you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Today I thought uh, it's Friday, it's Labor Day weekend. Uh, before I go out to dinner, I prepared a quick uh, charcuterie plate. So it has some salami, some cheeses, and a nice cold beer. Uh, it's just been a hectic week, but I'm ready to wind down. So there's my salami. And then I have two types of cheese today. The front is a Havarti dill, and then the back is a smoked Swiss. Just some crackers left over, and then I squeezed a little bit of ground mustard. On my new um, cutting board from Ikea, I think it was like six bucks, but I've already used it more than six times, so I think that it has bought itself back in terms of an investment. So, uh, the beer I have is a New Belgian, Belgium, heavy melon, heavy melon. I can't get my words out today because I'm excited that it's Friday. Let's get started with that. The air condition's on. Don't have any major plans this weekend, but that's the exciting part. Cheers. Oh, that's good. So let's dig into this little uh, meat and cheese platter that I've arranged for today. I have some extra crackers off to the side if you're concerned that I won't have enough to get me through this plate. I actually don't know if I want to eat all of this because again I'm probably going to get dinner uh, right after. So. That Havarti dill is really good. It's really um, creamy. And if you like the taste of dill, then it should be right up your alley. Salami is nice and salty. Normally I would uh, drink this with a glass of wine, but the beer was much more easy and convenient to take care of today. So I've actually had this um, Havarti dill before, but let's dive into this smoked Swiss. So if you watch my other uh, mukbang video about raiding um, my refrigerator, usually I have make sure um, that there's some kind of cheese and meat on hand because it's literally one of the quickest um, appetizer things that you could put together if you have unexpected company coming over. So. It was sitting there for quite a bit. I guess we haven't had any um, unexpected arrivals as of late. So I decided to open it up for today. Mm. The rind's like this nice, uh, just copper color. So if I really think about it, um, as I was getting into charcuterie plates, I just thought about it as a glorified um, Lunchables. So if you guys don't know what Lunchables are, they're a popular um, school time lunch and it comes in this little container and it has some kind of cracker, usually either like turkey, ham or some kind of meat and then slices of cheese and then you would, you would stack them and then you eat them at lunchtime. And I remember they were popular uh, when I was growing up, but my parents didn't really buy them as often. I either got money to buy school lunch or my mom would pack me like a sandwich. She really liked making me egg sandwiches, I felt like, and tuna. So if I was able to find someone willing, because there were people out there that were sick of Lunchables because that's all they ate. 
I would try to barter with them because I didn't get Lunchables as often. And so it's funny, like when I look at it now, it, every time I do see it, like some kind of meat and cheese, it, re it instantly reminds me of Lunchables. Um, instead of beer, because you probably were drinking Capri Suns or like a apple juice container. So living in Southern California, we always have to be prepared for um, earthquakes. And um, one of the things that you do at the beginning of the school year, and I guess it's relevant because school's starting um, quite a bit around this area, but you would have to either purchase um, like through the school an emergency like food kit in case there was an earthquake or some other disaster where you're stuck at school or you would create your own. And so my parents did the smart thing and they just went through the school and we, so we would pay, I, I don't even know how much it was, but um, my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the school year was that there was a baseball game uh, towards the end of the school year. I think the sixth graders played against the teachers and if for some reason um, there was no need to eat the food, which I've been grateful that there hasn't been a need to, um, you would get to eat whatever you bought for that earthquake kit on the day of that baseball game or softball game or whatever it was. So I remember um, that was like one of my favorite days of the school year and it typically was like the last week of school. Um, and if memory serves me correct, like they would have that, uh, I don't know if Crafts was the one that made it, but it's like that little cheese container and then the little sticks and then that's what you would dip it in. So I, I didn't realize that even before I thought about this video, I was like, what am I going to talk about today? But all of this is just kind of like coming out like word vomit, like just these random memories that I have related to uh, this type of food. That was a big bite. I think watermelon season's over, but I guess it, if it's bottled, it really doesn't make a difference. I think at this point, I'm gonna give this cheese another try, but at this point, the Havarti dill has a slight edge. Yeah, I would say that Havarti dill is probably my favorite out of the two. So hopefully um, you guys have something planned for the long weekend. Whether you have kids um, who just started school and then now you get to spend more time with them because there's that extra Monday off. Um, I don't even, really don't even recall summer happening. I mean, it's been hot, like a, almost every day, but I guess, you know, as an adult, you don't really feel summer as much besides the weather. So hopefully you will find a reason to do something fun this weekend. And if you have more like plans like me, where you're just planning on kicking back and chilling, that's good too, because things have been moving fast paced and it's been hectic and crazy and you might need some of that like relaxed downtime. I think I got the right amount of crackers and then whatever I don't go through I'll just put in a Ziploc and save for another day. Sometimes like if I have like mixed nuts, that, that goes really well because if you want something like crunchy or texture, sometimes I like something like vinegary. So they sell um, 
hopefully I'm saying this right, cornichons, which are like the very tiny like pickles. Those are good. But that's the beauty of something like this is there's no cooking involved. You just kind of pop it all on like a cutting board or something fancy and then you display it and people are like really impressed. I think I did it one time for a New Year's party and I think I threw out some like other decorations around the table and it made for an, a very nice uh, focal, focal point centerpiece for the table. I've noticed, I probably should switch it up. I noticed I've been eating only the salami with this cheese, so I should give this, shouldn't discriminate, I should give this cheese a chance. I mean, it's, I'll put a little mustard so you can see. There we go. So the shirt I'm wearing, mm, we have a bakery around here, it's called Paris Baguette. It's like a Korean owned bakery. A lot of the workers, I think they wear like a white and black stripe or even maybe gray and black. I'll see if I have a picture and if I do have a picture, you'll see it like right here. But one time I went there and I was wearing the same exact outfit. So um, I took, I was standing right next to it and Mark took a picture of me standing next to the workers. I look like I blended in. It's kind of like when you go to Target and you wear like a red shirt and then someone comes up, up to you and they ask you, hey, like where, where do I go get so-and-so? But you're like, I don't work here. But it was kind of your fault because you wore a red shirt to Target or wearing a blue shirt to Walmart. It's just, you shouldn't do that if you don't want people going up to you asking where certain things are. So I've learned my lesson. going back to this um, cheese board concept like there'll be days where I'll bring this in for lunch because there's only so many days you could eat like prep salads or sandwiches that you buy or you're too lazy to go out to get lunch so sometimes I literally just pack a container of crackers the salami and like I already pre-sliced the cheese so I don't have to deal with it at work and that makes for a good lunch too so I would highly recommend it if you're trying to mix things up and aside from the crackers, I'd say it's not that unhealthy. So. I have two crackers left. Yeah, I, I don't know about... <laughs> I think as I'm going on eating this, I'm not really feeling the smoked... Um, Swiss. I guess there's certain things that you shouldn't be um, smoking. Maybe Swiss is one of them in my book. I mean, they have sushi that's smoked and sometimes I'm like, well, after a while that's all you taste is like the smokiness and if you don't really appreciate that flavor then you're kind of like, well, why did I order this or why am I eating this? I guess going back to the lunch bowl, that's one of the fun things about having this for lunch is you can, you build whatever you want really. And I think that, you know, is quite popular now, nowadays, like, you know, you have your, 
Subways, your Chipotle's, your Poke Bowl places where you get to customize what it is that you're eating. And I think that's just been, you know, trending as of late. So Lunchables or whoever makes them was onto something pretty early on. I don't understand how this video is 15 minutes long and I've eaten like much more food in that amount of time. So maybe that's just a sign that I'm not trying to rush along and afraid of having dead air time on my camera. I think even ever since I learned how to edit, I haven't really been taking advantage of like cropping things out because again, the whole idea of like eating in front of me, it should be kind of like non-interrupted, I would say, but I understand why you would cut out certain things because nobody wants to see you like burping or spinning up your food or not that I spit up my food in any of my old videos, but um, I have to say the first time I had this beer, I wasn't a huge fan, but I don't know if it because I'm in a much better mood or I'm nearing the end of the bottle that I am enjoying it a lot more today. So, speaking of Ikea, that place is dangerous. You could always, it's like a target to me. You could always find something that you'll want to buy there. At the very least, I will always get the soft serve, which is still a dollar for as long as I've known Ikea. But it's kind of fun to go in there and play house, like figure out like, oh, this is how they've rearranged their furniture or maybe I need this in my house you pick it up and then you go home and then you realize why did i buy it but i think that's the appeal of ikea is it's just everything's staged and you kind of get a vision for certain ideas and you can incorporate it in your own home hmm so question i have for you i noticed some people really like putting crackers in their soup, so like a clam chowder or a chicken noodle soup. Some people absolutely hate it. So, I, you know, I'm just curious in the comments, go ahead and just leave me a message and let me know, do you prefer eating like crackers and things of that sort in your soups or do you like it like without? I'm kind of on the fence about that one. Like there are days, I think growing up that was like, there had to be crackers in there. Like if you if you got a soup at a restaurant and they gave you like a little packet of those saltine crackers, you don't eat those separate. You have to put them in there. Nowadays, I'm like, uh, you know, my metabolism is not as great. The, the crackers aren't really adding anything. I let it sit in there so long that that crunch factor that I want isn't even there. So I've been more like, no, the crackers don't belong. And especially those, um, I think they're called oyster crackers. I'm not positive, but... I think those are the ones that are usually eaten in clam chowder and now that I think about it, are they called clam crackers? I'll have to look that up, but um, re regardless, those are probably my least favorite crackers to put in a soup because it's like, it just absorbs everything and then clam chowder, I mean, the good ones don't, but for the most part, a lot of places that have clam chowder, it's just a lot of potatoes, like very little clam. It should be called potato and clam chowder. I'm getting pretty heated about this, so I'll stop that topic, but... All right, this is my last sliver. This is my ball. This is the bottle opener. It's like a little tiki man souvenir from Hawaii, which I want to go to soon. Have to find the time. 
think all I would do is eat. I mean, that's what I'm doing here on the mainland, right? We're just eating. Okay. I gotta take it easy, because like I said, I'm planning to eat dinner, but at this rate, I'll be too full to eat anything. I'm kind of happy with the setup today. I feel like my um, I'm at a happy balance with my tripod, so it's actually pretty level, I think. I mean, sometimes it looks leveled here, and then I'll go on my computer and edit, and it's quite the opposite, but from what I see, it looks pretty good. Bottled by New Belgium Brewing, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. Both places I have yet to go. If I think about all the states I've been to, let's do a quick count. California, Nevada, Arizona, Washington. I was getting confused because I know I've gone to Seattle then I got confused if that was in Oregon or Washington. I, I don't really know anything above California. I mean, us Californians think we're the only things that exist, right? But, um, oh, and Alaska, of course. I can't forget Alaska, because that was probably the coldest of all of the places I've been to. But I'll save that for another video. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this Friday. I hope you guys have a lovely Labor Day weekend. Stay safe. Um, Uber, if you need to. And if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe, comment, and also like it. Share it with your friends. Um, and I will see you guys next time.